This week, find out our top five restaurants that you should try on your next Disney vacation. What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh. This is a WDW Couple, and if you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, except for recently, because Disney World's closed. But, but, listen, we thought we would do something a little bit different this week instead of uh, cooking at home and kind of give you guys a list of five restaurants uh, at the Disney Resort Hotels that you should try on your next vacation. And we get asked this a lot, you know, where you should go, what you should eat, a list of places. So we thought that we would do that this week. Now, if you're new to planning a Disney vacation or just new to Disney World in general, you have to know that there are over 200 different places that you can eat here in Walt Disney World. Now, that's not just sit-down restaurants. That does include some quick service locations and you're kind of walking up and grabbing something really quick like a Mickey pretzel or popcorn, things of that nature. And with that being said, though, there are a lot of places to choose from. So hopefully today this will help you narrow it down a little bit, especially for some of those special occasions. Also, what's really great about these restaurants is that you don't have to have a park ticket to actually go to any of these places. Um, and you don't have to be staying at the hotels either. As long as you have a dining reservation, uh, you can easily park at that resort, walk in and check in and eat and enjoy the atmosphere in the hotel and maybe do a little shopping while you're at it. But with that being said, we do recommend that you guys have your dining reservations booked before you try and go and eat at these restaurants. Now, without any further ado, let's break down our list of five restaurants at Disney Resort, Disney Resort? At Walt Disney World Resort Hotels, and these are in no particular order. Number five is Jico, the cooking place, located at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. Now, the first time that Taylor and I ate here was way back on our anniversary in 2016, and we had a great time. It was so good, we made it a point that we were gonna have to come back at some point and eat there again. Now, this is a signature style restaurant, so keep that in mind, but kids are welcome to join in uh, and enjoy the delectable food that they have to offer there. Now, Jiko in Swahili means the cooking place, hence Jiko the cooking place, and they have a cooking place right in the center of the restaurant, which you can sit down at and watch the chefs make appetizers and salads. The theming here is great too. This is what we really love about it as well. They've got canoe birds hanging from the ceiling. These are mythological birds and it's believed that if they fly overhead, you will be blessed with prosperity and health. And the pillars throughout the restaurant represent women of Africa. The more rings around their neck, the greater respect they hold in the community. Now, of course, the food here is seasonal, meaning that it changes often, so it's really hard for us to really recommend anything specific, but know that they will normally always have a um, beef, chicken, and a fish dish for you to enjoy. But the flavors of Africa here are not overpowering um, or are far out for the ordinary palate. However, they do offer some very unique African flavored dishes. <laughs> and of course, we do have a dining review. We actually have two from there, but don't judge us on those ones. They are kind of old and not the best. I don't know what was going on when we chose the music to do that dining review. I'm gonna blame this one on Taylor because she's not here. All right, moving on to number four, which is Narcoosie's, located at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and also situated right next to Seven Seas Lagoon. This is another great restaurant for couples or family looking to have a celebratory kind of celebration or that anniversary. Um, Taylor and I find ourselves coming here a lot. Well, I don't want to say a lot, but we come here at least once a year, and that's a lot for us because we're always trying to go to someplace new. Um, and normally it's for um, a birthday birthday or an anniversary or because our family's down and it's just a great place. We never have a bad meal uh, and service is always really good. This is an American style restaurant. It is a steak and seafood place uh, and the seafood is caught locally and globally. So they will have um, things rotating in and out. But there's one thing that we do have to recommend here. It is the surf and turf, according to Taylor, um, because it's just great. Now, if I'm recommending something, you guys might know I don't like desserts, but I love the almond uh, crusted cheesecake here at Narcoosie's. It's just, it's awesome. Uh, I think when Disney opens back up, I'm just gonna go there, I'm gonna sit at the bar, I'm gonna order a drink and get the almond crusted cheesecake and I'll be satisfied because it's great. Now, another great thing about this is that if you time it just right, and maybe you're situated down by the windows, you'll be able to see Magic Kingdom fireworks, which they will pipe in the music for you, and the uh, electric water pageant, the water, electrical water, the water pageant. You know, if you've never seen it before, you can Google search it real quick, it'll pop up, but it's a pretty cool little show. It's on a bunch of boats, it goes through the water. And it's just, again, it's a really great place. I think you're gonna have a great time. Service is always good. 
Number three is Flying Fish, located at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Uh, this restaurant is a seafood steakhouse as well, kind of more focusing on the seafood side of things. Um, but it's a beautiful place. They just renovated it back in 2017, I think. They may have had a few different iterations of a menu and a chef, but um, this is a really great place to go. It's beautiful inside. They've got flying glass fish hanging from the ceiling, um, and they have a really nice open kitchen, so you can kind of just walk up and watch them do their magic making all the dishes. If you've got questions, a lot of the sous chefs are pretty close by. They're willing to answer anything for you. And a lot of times, if you would like to speak to the chef, the chef is there and you can talk to them. Uh, again, this is another signature restaurant, but um, with that being said, we've literally seen people come in and eat during dinner time uh, in yoga pants and like running shorts and things like that. Like they must've been out running and then they came in and they're like, hey, let's eat. And that's what they did. So. Yeah, all right, moving on. Number two is Whispering Canyon Cafe. If you thought this list was nothing but signature restaurants, you were wrong, but you were pretty close. Whispering Canyon Cafe is a um, more of a casual sit down restaurant. However, there are a lot of shenanigans that go on and it's a great place to go. This is an old Western style themed place uh, and the food here is more of like that uh, barbecue-ish feel to it. Um, normally we got the scallop, the scallop? Normally, we will get the skillet, uh, which has chicken and ribs and pork and something like that, mashed potatoes, corn, green beans. Uh, it's really good. It's it's fantastic. It's all you care to enjoy. Um, but really, what makes this place great is the cast members. Uh, they're walking around. They're playing their part. And you do have to have a sense of humor to come here. So don't go here and then be upset because they're kind of like making fun and, and poking fun at you. It's all meant to be fun. Um, I, I will say that we always come back here with friends and family that have never been to Disney World before um, because it's just, it's a great place. We always tell them, ask for ketchup and they do and it's hilarious and they're like totally embarrassed and I don't know what to do with themselves but it's kind of like that for us, it's like a rite of passage for our family and friends whenever they come down here. We take them to Whispering Canyon Cafe and let them be amused or i guess we're more amused i don't know anyways it's a great place check it out wilderness lodge and uh man it's so awesome all right last but not least is number one and again these were in no particular order but i will say topolino's terrace located at disney's riviera resort a new disney vacation club is phenomenal it is it's so good um it's a great combination of italian and french cuisine and they've got some great drinks, they've got some great food. Um, we've been there for dinner, we've been there for breakfast, and we were there at the lounge one time when we were doing the Skyliner Bar Crawl. So uh, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. It is another signature style restaurant. It is a little bit more expensive. Again, it's really great for couples, for families, um, looking to just have like that nice relaxing night out. And the other best part about it is too, is that when you are there, if you time right again, uh, and it's more towards later in the evening. They've got a really nice terrace outside that's opened up to the atmosphere. So it might be raining. Uh, you might get wet out there, but you can see the fireworks from around Walt Disney World and just see a lot of what is out there. And it's awesome. It really is. It's a great place. Go check it out. Uh, yeah. So those are our top five restaurants that you should try on your next Disney vacation here. And remember, you don't have to have a park ticket. You just have to have a reservation to make sure that you can park at the resorts if you're driving yourself around. And uh, you know what? If I missed something or if you thought something is better than those five, because I'm sure somebody else there out there does, uh, drop a comment, let us know. Maybe we haven't done a dining review there and we can do one when everything starts to open back up. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.